Hello and welcome back to Mr. Muirhead's engineering class. We are working on the train project. Uh, we just completed the train body. So let's start from the very beginning. So I'm going to double click on my file folder. Uh, double click on train, the train folder. I'm going to create a new document called Smokestack Caps Lock S M O K E S T A C K. I'm going to have to use the number two because you can see I've already got a file in the background that's Smokestack, and I do not want to overwrite that file. But yours would just be Smokestack, so I'm going to create public document. So let's look at the Smokestack. <clears throat> So we have some information here because a quarter section of the smokestack has been removed. So we have a half inch diameter. So the radius would be 0.25. So this line would be 0.25. And then it's going up 0.25. We don't know much about these angles yet, but we're uh, going to know about that here in, in just a second. So let's come up here to this note. So this very top note, so you see this U shape, that means counter board. So if we come here, we come down, we come over, and we come up. So this note says there is a counter board diameter of 0.375 and it's inch and a half deep. So the 3 h diameter counter bore is down here inside the smokestack and here's our inch and a half deep coming coming up. So the 3 eighths is the diameter here. So half of 3 eighths is 3 sixteenths. So this line coming across here is 0.1875. And then coming from the bottom of the train all the way up to where this edge is, is inch and a half. And then at the very top of the smokestack, we have a 7 8 0.875 diameter. So we have a, another counter bore diameter of 0.875 by 3 8 deep. So the 7 8 counter bore diameter is here. So we're going to come down, come all the way across 7 8 and come up. So that diameter across here is 7 8 and the depth is 3 8 we are given some information here that is uh, laid on the inside. It's laid in 15 degrees. Uh, the diameter at that intersection point is inch and a quarter. So we're a quarter inch out and a quarter inch up. And then we'll hit escape, go back to the line command. And we'll come up, uh, make a line quarter inch, and then a line over 0.1875. And then we'll hit escape and we'll start to work on the geometry make some lines and trim, and we're going to create this section here that's got these 45 degree lines on it, and then we're going to revolve that 360 and finish the smokestack. So we're going to use this point down here as the origin or zero and create all of this section in what would be quadrant one in on shape. So with that further ado, let's go on to the smokestack. So again, it's easiest to work in the front view, so I'm going to create a sketch on this sketch plane. Right click, come normal to view. We're going to go to the line command. We're going to come to the origin. And we're going to left click and come out. And that is... 0.25. So we're going to come to the end of that line and go up. Whoops, it's crooked. So just window that and delete. Always make sure your lines are nice and straight and square, unless otherwise specified. 
and 0.25. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to come back to the center of the smokestack. And the smokestack is 1.75 inches tall, so I'm going to make a line all the way up 1.75 and then continue on. So we're going to make a line from the origin and click specify 1.75 and hit enter, zoom out, zoom in. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to make a line for the top of the smokestack, hit escape. So, <clears throat> now what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to locate this point in space. So we know the Y dimension is 1.5, and then our X dimension is going to be the radius of the inch and a quarter, which is going to be 0.65. And that will locate that point in space. So we're going to do that using the line command. So I'm going to create a vertical line. Hit escape. Back to line. Create a horizontal line. And we want to locate this point in space as the large rim diameter to the smokestack. So we know that from the bottom of the smokestack, to this line is 1.5 and that we know that from the center of the smokestack or the neutral axis to that rim edge is the diameter of 1.25 divided by 2. So there's our point in space. So let's trim, the let's scissors trim that. So let's clean this up. So ladies and gentlemen, all I have to do now is go to line and connect the two points, click and click. So our smokestack is coming together. So now let me show you how to put on the 15 degree line. So I'm going to go to line command, left click, come out and left click. So we know this angle here is specified at 15 degrees. So the other angle from here to here would be 75, which is the complement to the 15. So this is how we put on angles. So we're going to go to dimension and left click and left click. And we're going to, so we can set that at 15 off of 180, which would be 165, or we can set this at 15. So I'm going to zoom in and click and set that at 15. And from here to there is 75. All right, so let's scissors trim. Let's clean up this so we don't want that. So our smokestack is coming into shape. So let's define that dimension again. So let's go ahead and set this. So that would be 105. Hit enter. Uh, let's put our 0.265 radius back on. Left click and left click. Set that at 0.625 to constrain that so that doesn't move. Okay, it's all black again. <clears throat> so we could continue on and create all this geometry here and revolve that. And we can do that. But we also could just put a point in space here on the top and use the whole feature command to put in the bore and the counter bore. So let's continue on and let's keep making line geometry. So we'll come back to line. And remember I said that the 3 8 deep diameter hole is coincident with that. So I'm going to pick, just mouse over that and pick up my orange dotted line and click and click 0.1875.
Okay, we have our line command still on, so I'm going to go ahead and come above there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you remember from earlier where we were talking about the 7 8 diameter, the 3 8 deep. So now we're going to create the line geometry for that depth and this diameter and complete this cross section, clean it up with trim. So I want to create a line. I want to create a line down and hit escape and hit line and create another line start to make our counterboard so half of 7 8 is 7 16 so dimension from this line to this line okay dimension from this line to that line point four three seven five and then from this line to this line, that depth is 0.375, and hit enter. So let's go to scissors trim and clean this up. to make sure there's not a line there so we have some blue components so we do have a line here so we need a scissors trim that so we have a dimension of 0.438 to here but this is blue so I'm just gonna constrain that I'm going to delete that dimension for a second and then dimension from here to there at 375 so why we still got some blue so let's dimension from here There we go. So now you can see when we click on isometric and we zoom in and we bring our diagram over that now inside on shape we have geometrically created the same geometry as in our cross section so now all we have to do is accept that sketch and revolve that 360 degrees and the smokestack is complete. So I'll move the diagram out of the way. Click on isometric. Okay, I'm going to put to sleep the top and the front and the right and click on isometric. So we can see that easier. I'm going to accept that sketch. Okay, so we want to revolve this geometry so make sure I've got the face. I want that face and then the revolve axis is here so inside the revolve command for the smokestack we chose this face and here's our axis which is also the center line or the neutral axis to the smokestack which is there 
uh, the dot, not the line. So our revolve axis was actually this quarter inch line in the very, which is also the very center of the smokestack and hit accept and there's our smokestack. Excellent job. So I made the train body glass so right click edit the appearance so I'll make my smokestack red hit accept and then right click and assign a material And let's make it let's make it Teflon and hit accept. So thank you. That's the smokestack. Uh, the next video will be the hitch magnet and hitch peg which will be separate documents themselves. I believe there are nine documents all together before we get into assembly. Thank you and good luck.